My name is Imani LaForge. Today, my alias is Blair Imani, and I'm from Los Angeles. My first point of contact was watching Star Trek with my Uncle Craig, trying to figure out if Worf was really like that, <laughs> later realizing that Mr. Dorn does not appear that way, <sighs> but really just being interested in what the future looks like and that it includes black people. Star Trek The Next Generation is absolutely my favorite of the Star Trek franchise because they really tried to tackle difficult uh, subject matter like drug addiction, different religions, different races, different cultures, and you know things that are you know very everyday like youth and playfulness and puberty, but also wish fulfillment. Star Trek The Next Generation represents so much and being a historian uh, you know, in my day job, it's really exciting to go into sci-fi and see not what was, but what will be. Boldly going is definitely my motto from you know, Star Trek The Next Generation. At the beginning of every episode, you, know, you have cards saying, Boldly go where no one has gone before. And I think that's powerful because there are so many things that we have to boldly go and do in our lives, whether it's speaking up at school or at work or at home. And I think if you can remember to do that boldly, and maybe you'll be the first person to do it, but you will pave the way for other people to be able to learn from that. And those are messages that you see time and time again in Star Trek. The other thing that I really love about The Next Generation is that when you have the prime directive, it's really about honoring and preserving cultures, and I think that's something that people can learn from. When you have the, the prime directive, it's about not disrupting the state of affairs in a given society. We can all learn from that in the way that we should have people who are from that region or from that culture telling their own stories. And so these are lessons that are applicable to everyday life. I was inspired to do a feminized, Islamified uh, version of this Jordy cosplay. Looking at other franchises, you see a lot of Islamic inspired clothing, but at the same time, the people who are wearing hoods, who are wearing the headgear, tend to be people who are looked at to as villains. So you still see some Islamophobia being written into the, the context there. Uh, whereas in Star Trek The Next Generation, you see a diverse array of cultures and being uplifted, not necessarily being derided um, in the same ways as are told you know, in present day. So um, I wanted to kind of accentuate you know, like the feminine form, because it's one thing to dress exactly like the character, but it's another thing to say, I'm going to step into this character and bring myself to. Oh my goodness, ah! Okay, LeVar Burton shouted me out and said that this was the best Jordy cosplay um, that he's ever seen. And uh, I believe he put ever in all caps, I might be projecting. And he said that I not only honored him, but also people who look to Jordy as a hero. And I look to Jordy as a hero. Going to the first season of Star Trek The Next Generation where Jordy is wearing red, he speaks about wanting to see like other people. And I think that's something that, you know, whether you have a disability, whether you're a person of color, whether you're a religious minority, we want to feel like what it feels to be another person, a person in the majority. Whether that's, I want to be treated like you, or I want to go through what you go through. I think that's something that we all experience and go through. And he gets to this very sullen place where he's in despair, but he's also in a mind altered state. And it kind of shows where vulnerability can appear. Jordy LaForge was actually named after George LaForge, who was a disabled person that became friends with Mr. Roddenberry, and that character was later developed to honor him with a disability in mind as well, so it shows that diversity. I can see you. The Star Trek universe, let's pray that we can keep our consistency, we keep our continuity, because us as fans, we will be on it. But we are also excited for the uh, franchise to live long and prosper, to, so to say. And I do hope that our favorite characters make an appearance, you know? LeVar is out here, still acting, still working. Will Wheaton's around, it'd be great to see an appearance maybe in some type of alternate dimension episode. Sorry, I was excited about that.